Welcome back, everybody, to the No Potion run of Hidden Duality. Yeah, we're not doing three hearts anymore, as stated in the previous video. But we're going to check out something that's been kind of bothering me for two playthroughs now. You know, two playthroughs since I've... Yep, there is something there. I can. I need to bomb it. And if I recall, I think I bombed this with the regular bomb before in my first playthrough and nothing really happened. So I'm thinking Super Bomb. Yep, Super Bomb. Whoa, okay. Mirror house. Doesn't even doesn't even have a number designation. So I don't even know what dungeon number this is. It's obviously not dungeon eight. Okay, these are pretty easy enemies, so I'm not too worried. Here. Oh, like likes. <laughs> even with the magic oh gosh, even with the Oh no no no! No, get away! Ah! <laughs> Even with the magic shield, uh, or sword, I'm still a little worried about the like lakes. And I'm gonna keep you alive. Ooh. Yeah, uh, something I mentioned in the previous video, now that I have more hearts, it's like I'm doing less, I guess, less skilled playing because, you know, every hit doesn't seem to count anymore. It's more like, uh, eh, I can take the tank the damage, so. Might as well, right? So my playstyle is getting a little sloppy as a result. Because obviously I'd be dead like three or four times over by now. Well, so far this uh, dungeon isn't really too bad. The enemies are fairly easy. Well, granted I have magic... Whoa! Whoa, what just happened? That was not the room I entered into from that. Huh, it's really odd seeing ghosts in a dungeon. I don't know, maybe I'm just not used to seeing that enemy type in a dungeon at all, in like other quests or the official quests. Okay, something's fishy going on. See what's to the right here. Oh gosh, stupid bat robes. I'm getting the heck out of here. Get me out of here, get me out of here. Oop, I might need that heart though. Okay, so I I feel like I'm going in circles here. Do. Ah, progress. This is somewhere new. All right, more new rooms. I'm feeling good about this. Okay. Uh, this is clearly a maze. <laughs> I, I I realize that now. Uh, these doorways do not lead exactly where they should, and I am back at the start. Craggy. Because that doesn't change. Let's see if this changes at all. Because that doesn't change. We need to be methodical about this. There's probably like a doorway I'm just not entering right from one of these rooms. I'm just like forgetting which doorways I've entered into and which ones I haven't. Because I know there was... Yeah, there was a northern doorway here, so maybe that leads me deeper in. Or not. Although this is the first appearance of some blue dark nuts, I was wondering when those would come into the quest. Oh wow, that's not too big at all. I didn't really explore much of it, but that's not too bad. And I'm back here. <laughs> uh, that takes me back to the entrance. Oh, 
Oh, whoa. Oh, my goodness. I am... I am hopping all over the place. I just noticed that in the upper left. These doorways don't exactly take you back to the right areas. Or to the room that you previously entered. You could just be jumping all over the place. Okay, so that just takes me one room, right? This is so weird. Let's go up. No. Okay, I'm not hopping rooms, so that's good. Okay, I know where that portal takes me. That's useless. No, oh gosh, oh, oh heck no. Ooh, I'm just going all over. <laughs> oh, this is so confusing. I, I, I'm getting out of here. This, I don't even understand what, what I'm doing wrong. There's clearly something I'm missing, and I, I don't know, I can't figure it out. So, okay, never mind. We will tackle that dungeon at a different day. Because I'm at a loss for what the heck I need to do there. Like, completely. Okay. Well... Let's explore the caves for a little bit. I haven't actually touched the caves in quite a while. So, I know that there's a bunch of magic upgrades that can only be found in caves. So, we'll see if we can find some more here. Because there are some rooms in the upper right of Ascavar and in the upper left that I have not been to. And I would like to visit. Ah, uh, there's a post, and there's a room to the right here. And those look like cracks. Uh, let's see if it's Bumble. Yep, okay. This might be something. This might be something. Yes! It is! It's a magic upgrade. Right, Jess? I haven't had one in a while, so that, that was a good find. And for a second, I was about to write off this video as an not being anything, not getting anything done. <laughs> that mirror house was way too confusing. That's clearly an optional dungeon. I, whoa. I am in a brand new part of the overworld. Oh, pfft. Really? Okay, so let's go exploring. I have not been here. Uncharted territory. Random old dude peeking his head out. No big deal. Just some random old chop here. Making practically no business. Oh, lordy, with prices like that, no wonder. And why are you even selling that? I already have it in dungeon. Huh. I guess if you skip it in Dungeon 5, you could buy the blue mail here, but for 500 rubies? That's that's a ripoff. I'm not even going to take that deal. Deal or no deal? No deal on that one. Okay. I am seeing some weird trees here. Like, every so often there's like a weird tree, like the one in the upper right, and then that flame-looking one in the center. I don't know, it's just something that just caught my eye. It just seemed kind of random. And I'm going to save those for later. 
Ooh, that looks special. Ooh, oh, and these are some of the trees I've been seeing. Huh. Let's see if there's any secrets. Oh, yep, there's a portal. There's a portal. Uh, what do I do here? Do I hammer? Do I hammer the trees? Okay, the trees are not revealing anything to me. Okay, boomerang. Bomb it? Okay, no. Okay, why is nothing... Why is nothing working? Does the whistle work? Nope, nope, definitely doesn't work. <laughs> uh, that's a waste of my magic. Okay, none of these are hookshotable. I don't want to waste my super bomb. Oh, whatever, let's try it. Nope, wasted my super bomb. Oh, jeez. I don't know what to do with that grove. Um, I really don't. There's clearly something going on with those trees, and I can't figure it out. And that looks like an unreachable heart piece at the moment. I don't even know what to refer to that one as. Maybe, uh... Unreachable ledge, heart piece? Okay, that sounds good. Hey, look, there's Talon. Sleep next to a tent. He's camping out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so you really couldn't access this until you beat level 7. Or at least got the items from level 7, so. Interesting. But we're not done with the caves yet. We are needing to go back. Let's see if we can get to the upper left now. Yep, there's quite a few rooms in the upper left I haven't explored. I mean, there can't be that many more items left to get to unlock certain areas, so... I mean, other than flippers, because I've already noticed there's several things that need something. Yeah, like flippers or Zora scale or something that allows you to swim. Beyond that, I don't know what other items I could be needing. Okay, that clearly is not the way, so I guess I have to do the long roundabout way to get to the left side. Ah, now we're making progress. This looks a lot better. Aha! Okay. Do I have to kill everything? Come on, get over here. There we go. Uh. Okay, maybe that's an exit only? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> For a second, I was just like, that seems kind of random. There's like a hammer post. Oh. Now that is an interesting magic potion uh, location. So yeah, I mean, that hammer post is just randomly there, and I'm just like, that, that looks weird. There's got to be something there. And sure enough, there is. Trust nothing in this quest. It's all suspect. Highly suspect. Alright, now let's check out the dark world. Oh, there's one right here. Uh, any pushable rocks? Hammer posts? Uh, nothing in the swamp. Uh, nothing down here. I don't see anything in the center area. Uh, uh, yep, there's that one up there. We'll go check that one out in a bit. You know, I honestly don't remember seeing anything in the desert with regards to, like, hammers or pushable rocks. And how the heck do you get there? Uh, there's a graveyard, and oh my goodness, there's a huge, huge swath of land I've yet to even uncover. That's uh, crazy nuts.
Alright, let's bomb this thing. Ah, of course. Of course I would need a super bomb. The very one I just wasted. Gosh darn it, I'm gonna have to go buy... Ah! Go buy a stupid super bomb and come back. There's really not much to say about these screens. I mean, other than the occasional river here and some waterfalls, most of these Dark World screens seem to be pretty nondescript. I mean, the Light World, by comparison, has a lot of nice locales to look at. You know, I'm actually not sure if that's was purposeful or not. Come to think of it, that actually might be. The designer might have actually chose to make it, make it boring in the Dark World. Eh, I don't know what I'm saying. Although I am getting closer. There it is. And me thinks this is another case of Lens of Truth. Uh, let me get it out. Yep. Oh, getting a lot of mileage out of this. Lens of Truth. Oh, wow. What is that? That looks like it could span several screens. That looks like a huge fortress, and I don't even know what that enemy is over there. Looks like a different type of magic user, Wizrobe. Ah, another heart container uh, acquired, several magic upgrades. I'd say this was a pretty productive video overall. I mean, I didn't get anything major, major done, but eh, whatever. I'll take what I can get at this point. Now, would I really be mad if I was still stuck on the mirror house and had a whole video of nothing to show for it? That would be that would really make me mad, both as the video creator and a, a viewer watching it. I don't know about you, but I think it's kind of bad when someone just spends a whole video wandering around and accomplishes nothing. And instead of editing out his failed attempts of exploring and just putting in you know, what's what he did accomplish. I mean, that's the worthwhile part of the video. What you did accomplish, not that you're completely lost and you have no idea what you're doing. Which, I guess, applies to me, but I am a little more genre-savvy with Legend of Zelda than most other games. Crikey, I got a lot of I got a crap ton of money. Here, just take my money. Just take it. I'm gonna throw it at you. Give me some super bombs. Yes, please. Okay, I can only get up to two. I figured that out off screen. Apparently buying more than two uh, it's just a waste of money, because nothing ever adds to your inventory. Uh, it seems like the amount of super bombs you can get is directly linked to how many normal bombs you can get, so I'm going to assume that you can get one more with the next bomb upgrade, wherever that may be. And why did I not think of this sooner? I should probably do the Whistle Warp. That was not where I wanted to go. Let's keep going. Ooh, that's right. That's right, I forgot about this portal. I think I went here briefly during... During my second playthrough, I I don't know if I went here on my first playthrough. I can't recall. But okay, yeah, I remember now. I went here and just kind of passed through, didn't really pay much attention to this place, but... This is clearly something you, can, you can't get past until you get the hammer from level 7. So this, is, this might be a pretty late in-game... Of course it would need a super bomb. Why would it not? But this seems like a toward the end game type of dungeon. Prickle Depths. It's another 
no number indicated dungeon. Whoa! Oh, whoa! That is... Oh, no! Oh, this looks awful! It is awful! Ah! Holy side view, Batman! Is the, is the whole level gonna is the whole level gonna be like this? That would be cool yet uh, weird at the same time. Woo, chest! Please let me survive long enough to get it. I don't want to die while I'm trying to get a chest. That is like the worst feeling in the world. You're like two meters away from the chest, and then an enemy kills you. Oh my goodness, that is. That's a lot bigger than I was expecting here. Is that all, like, an actual top-to-bottom map view? Like, the top is the top, and the bottom is actually the bottom of the dungeon? If that's the case, this goes pretty darn deep. That's what she said. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh that was bound to happen. Wow, this place is nuts. We're going to try and tackle this again in the next video. See you later, everybody.